Then we got Jim Jones. Then we got that. Yeah. We call that bang bang, they do their own thing over there. Middle of the project, still my posse getting right. Yeah, I said my posse because we keeping the old hall. You heard? You heard? You heard? I gotta get my New York lingo up. Alright, yo. Chat, uh, I don't know if y'all seen this recently. I actually watched, like, the whole thing. I wasn't just watching this. I was watching some other shit, but yeah, I, I still watched it. Um, Kyrie Irving went live and was going off, brothers. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. And Kyrie Irving um, IG live. Let's see if we can figure it out. Here we go. It's about an hour. Definitely Actually, supposedly they said it was on Twitch. No, it was on Twitch. You, I de I've dealt with every type of somebody that's bad, like who you truly are. Got some advice. Y'all asking me how I'm making it through everything. I'm really just doing great. Uh, I wanted to affirm that. Um, Hold on. It's fucking. What the fuck? It's fuck with me that is. His mouth pause is not like matching the words. Let me see. Let me filter over 20 minutes. That's one of them. Let's go in the shit that happened this week. Y'all know how to work this, this shit, bruh. Okay, nah, I think I think I gotta just watch that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, you know, people are growing in my family. There's still a lot going on in the world, but we're all making it through. We all doing our very, very best. I told y'all, just like when I tweet or when I say peace of mind is everything. Peace of mind is everything. Why give energy to things that do not serve like who you truly are? Because I, I, I've been, I'm guilty of distracting myself at times. You know what I mean? Like, I'm guilty too. I'm guilty of being a human being. But I got a point. I'm 30 now. At a point, I had to make a decision. Like. Do I want to be at peace or, or around it? Okay. I'm going to try to skip through it. I'm just going to call it out. Everybody be talking about their fucking ticket. I don't give, I, I'm not oh, going to yeah, say yeah. I don't care about your to hit. And don't get me wrong. I don't want anybody wasting their money on me. Here we <laughs> so, go. So, like work is work, but the support around it um, can be very distracting. You know what I mean? There's a difference between being a diehard fan and supporting your team and loving your team versus somebody that's betting on a parlay or somebody that wants to hit. And don't get me wrong, I don't want anybody wasting their money on me. <laughs> but God dang, like, this whole community of gamblers that's come into the game of basketball. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm just going to call it out. Everybody be talking about their fucking ticket. I don't give, I'm not going to say I don't care about your ticket, but if you want to gamble, why don't you gamble on something that makes sense to you? And if you gamble on me, I'm not going to tell you whether it's a good gamble or a bad game. I'm just saying, you gambling, you're going to win or lose. But that doesn't mean sliding into people's DMs or wishing bad on them or doing the extra shit that goes on, man. That, it blows my mind sometimes. Hey, I, I, I think he's he's told about some, some at least here he's told about some real shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I do believe sports betting has ruined the game, or not ruined the game, but it's changed the game of basketball, but also just sports in general. The majority of times when I'm talking to people now, they're only following up teams because they're like, "Yo, I got a parlay. Yo, I yo, 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 this nigga better score over." 25 points or he better get two or three threes or you know what i mean if it's football they'll be like yo he better throw for two touchdowns you know what i mean um the game is definitely being influenced and changed by um sports betting and, and i ain't gonna lie to you i think we're gonna see soon another referee or somebody get busted over trying to manipulate that because it's clear that the league and also the entities have you know, like espn is owned by ESPN is owned by Disney, yet ESPN has a show with DraftKings where all they talk about is, 
yo, will this player score over this amount? All they talk about is potential bets. So that's a fact. You get what I mean? I think he, he's talking from a player's perspective. But in reality, a lot of people just look at these sports as, yo, let me just get a parlay off. You feel me? It really blows my mind, like, cause me as a hooper, I'm just, I'm just trying to get a bucket. I'm just trying to get a bucket. I'm trying to win ball games, most importantly. And I'm gonna be successful some nights, and I'm gonna fail. But overall, the reason why I said peace of mind is everything. Just look at these distractions that ultimately take away from the game. Man, I'm just saying, it's just tainted with the game. Like I'm, just, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. You feel me? I don't. But. Mm, I, people selling, you know, people telling me I sold, I suck, I'm not that good, oh, this and that. I de I've dealt with every type of name calling in my life. So, by the way, I watched this whole thing, um, and, and I completely get Kyrie's perspective. It's interesting to hear a nigga say he looks at basketball like, no disrespect if you work at Walmart, but he looks at it like just a job. That's it. He doesn't enjoy anything other than the plane of basketball. But he also shows a little bit of ignorance in, in the sense that you do know that, like, I hate when people like him and KD act like they don't like when people talk about them. You do know the game, the reason why basketball is so lucrative and you're making so many millions of dollars. And by the way, those millions definitely control and influence what you do because when you realize the Nets were weren't gonna probably offer you the contract you wanted, you wanted you wanted out of there, right? Like so, the money does matter. Where the money comes from, though, is not just because you're good at basketball; it's because the NBA is really good at marketing you being good at basketball. And how do they market you being good at basketball? They do a lot of things, including working with some of these same people who talk about you all the time. So it, you can't really enjoy, like you know, you can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm this holistic guy. I'm only playing basketball. But it, it, you could just be the great basketball player at the park. You're rich now. You want to be in the league. So if you're in the league, what comes to being in the league is being discussed by Charles Barkley, being discussed by Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, being criticized. You know, again, if you don't give interviews, people are going to make assumptions. It is what it is. Like, you know, like that's my only thing. I be like, I get lost with like Kyrie and some other people because they be acting like what they're doing is like slave labor and like, like, Oh, no, why do people get to talk about me? You're getting paid for it. Like, you know, even today, right? Today, somebody hit me and they were like, oh, are you okay? You got posted on the shade room. And I look at it, I'm like, yo, bro, this comes with it. Like, I used to be like, bro, it comes with it. People in the shade room are probably going to give their opinion about what I said and give their opinion of me. It's cool. Like, we got to start acknowledging what comes with the gig. It's what I was getting at Metro Boomin about, right? Like, dog, if you think that you're making all this money just because you're good at beats, there's a lot of people good at a lot of things. They don't make a lot of money. What happens in this music business, like, like Metro, your fucking label has paid me to fucking promote your, your music before. You know what I mean? Like, this is why I'd be looking at artists like you're fucking retarded. Like, your label, like, fucking cut me checks, tens of thousands of dollars to promote your shit. So it's like... When I see them start acting like, oh, no, don't talk about, don't. What are you talking about? Like, there's a whole business to it. You're signed to a label. You make the music or you get the artist to get on the songs. Or say, Kyrie, you play basketball. But, yeah, you're great. But if you didn't have the league, you wouldn't have 30,000 people watching you in the arena and then millions watching you away. You know what? You, like, y'all got to understand what the gig is. The gig is doing interviews. The gig is sometimes Oh, not only you got to do the interviews for the mainstream TV channels, they probably got some shit in China where you got to sit with a translator and talk to Chinese media. Bro, that's how it goes. You get what I mean? That's how you get these big contracts. So anyway, um, I'll, I'll leave that at that. And um, let me see. What else did I want to like kind of talk about i had like a topic in mind i had a topic in mind just spam what, what was i about to talk about fuck let me see if i can find it on my page <laughs> 